What's up, y'all? It's your boy Jalen here again on another episode of Elevated Minds. Uh, if this is your first time on the channel, go ahead, hit that like button, subscribe. If you're returning, do the same. Follow me on my social medias, and let's go on and dive into this video. Today's topic is going to be called How to Know You're an Empath. Um, so, empaths are people that are really deeply connected with both their emotions and other people's emotions and sometimes they might get them a little bit confused and so this <laughs> this video is really going to be about teaching you guys what uh an empath is if you don't know what it actually means and then also things that you can do if you are an empath um to make sure that you're preserving your energy not burning yourself out and you know not um absorbing everybody else's emotions and feelings because it's a very easy thing to do. so let's go ahead and hop into this video so like i said an empath is someone that's very sensitive to their emotions and other people's emotions uh, you'll find that uh, if you're empathetic you might be very connected with nature you might feel really at home when you're at the beach or in a forest or you know out in the wilderness somewhere um with some just mountains and you know shrubbery <laughs> so um you know, you might feel very connected with animals, sometimes even more connected with an animal than an actual human being. I'm talking about you cat ladies. <laughs> but no, I'm just playing, but um, for real, uh, being an empath, you're usually very connected with nature and animals and things like that. You find yourself very drawn to it. And then uh, you'll also kind of realize that people are easily drawn to you. Uh, you have a very healing, uh, you have a very healing and inviting aura, so people naturally gravitate to you. I didn't really really understand what that was, you know, because I noticed at one age people would just really just kind of drew to me and would easily tell me their life stories and things like that. And I didn't really understand what it was until people started telling me, oh, I just feel like, you know, I really like your aura. You're like, uh, like you're a good friend, you're a good listener. Um, you know, I feel like I can just, I'm just comfortable with you and I can just tell you my life story. And I didn't understand that was what was you know happening even though there's just a lot of people that would happen but that's when i eventually found out that i was an empath and i'm really sensitive to people's uh, other people's emotions like anger someone's mad and stuff like that i like feel like at not at ease you know what i mean and um really intense uh you know love or really intense um anger and things like that uh, violence or or shouting I'll be, I'm really sensitive to that. And uh, I can really feel that person's emotion and I absorb it and it becomes mine. And so I had to learn how to kind of like, you know, form a barrier around myself. So that's kind of what this uh, video is about. If you guys are, exist, are, you know, you know that you're, uh, you, you know that you're an empath or you, you might think that you are, you kind of been, trying to figure out if maybe that's what's going on or you're you're totally lost you don't know what the impact is this video is just kind of to clear up things on that and just give you methods of you know ways that you can better yourself and make sure that you're not absorbing other people's emotions getting burnt out with people um, because we we are givers and we give up our energy to people and you don't even realize it and so that's why people come to you and they feel better when they leave and they're done talking to you and so you have to learn how to preserve your energy and you have to learn um, when people are just using you because people will just use you as an empath. That's why a lot of people, empaths usually get played, cheated on and stuff like that because um, it's by their nature to be the way that they are. You know, very nurturing, uh, very loving and stuff like that. That's just at your core, that's who you are. And so it's kind of difficult for an empath to, you know, just not be who they are. And people can see that they're pure and you usually the purest people get taken advantage of. It's just the way that it is. It's the way that the world works. So there is way there are ways that you can protect yourself. You know, still be the loving person that you are. Don't put up walls just because people are like that. Let people be who they are, but you can always be who you are. And if you're an empath, there's it's nothing to be ashamed of, it's nothing to be upset about. You know, it's a good thing. It's a superpower, honestly, to you know. There's narcissists, the people that don't understand 
human emotion. They don't feel what people feel and they can't because they're just so stuck in their own box, their own world because due to whatever trauma they've had. So being an empath is actually a really good thing because it means you're on the way opposite spectrum of that. You're, that, you, you're a very pure person. And so um, my other empaths that are on here, uh, if you are an empath, go ahead and comment below. Uh, I'd love to hear any stories that anyone else might have, you know, kind of relating to this, you know, people being drawn to you and things like that. I'd love to hear about it. And if, even if you have anything to talk about as far as absorbing other people's emotions and you might feel like sensory overload in crowds and things like that. Um, because I actually, I'm a, I'm a people person, but I wasn't always. And I definitely um, had issues with being around a lot of people and sensory overload you know, feeling a lot of other people's emotions and then projecting them onto me. I, you know, it's so there, there's, I'm going to get into that, but um, <laughs> I'm jumping a little, but yeah, there are ways that you can protect yourself from that. Um, really empaths have to remember not to project your energy out, keep it in. And you know what I'm saying? Don't focus on other people, kind of just focus on yourself, be you, be in your own body. You know, I think the problem is we're putting all of our energy out you know, connecting to other people and you know, we're becoming what the other people are. You're, once you start, you know, worrying about what everybody else thinks about you and, you know, what they're doing and stuff like that, then you're already losing. You're outside of your body. You need to be in your own frame and be you. That's what it's all about. And so empaths have to learn that because we like to project our energy out to others because we're always worrying about other people. So this is some, you know, selfishness. Be, be into you for a little bit. <laughs> um... But yeah, that's one way that you can kind of protect your energy. And then also sometimes you have to like not talk to people. If, if you got, you know, a lot of negative people around, they just want to use you for like uh, an emotional sponge. Sometimes if you're drained and you can't do it, then just don't answer the phone or limit the amount of time that you talk to them. You have to put up barriers to people, you know, especially if they're going to still be in your life and stuff like that. But, you know, some people just like to complain to you and things like that. You know, it's okay to... It's, it's, I think it's really interesting, um, or really, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I think that it's, it's, uh, flattering that someone wants to talk to you when, you know, they feel bad. They come to you to feel better. Like that's, that's, it's pretty, pretty flattering, but it can be overwhelming. And, you know, if you let people take advantage or overstep the boundaries, so just, you gotta set boundaries. Healthy boundaries is good for you and the other person. It's like, so you can still show love. But you're like, hey, I have to take care of myself as well. My well-being matters just as much as yours, but I have to take care of me first. So impasse, you've got to learn that it's OK to say no. It's OK to put up a boundary. It's actually a good thing. It's, it's so that you can keep risk, you know, general respect for each other you, you, between your friends, your family, your whatever spouse, um, girlfriend, boyfriend, kids, whatever. You got to have boundaries with people. And empaths are the main ones that don't know how to set them. So um, if you don't want to end up drained and, and all this stuff, that's what you got to do. So um, other things that you can do to recharge, you know, make sure that you're, you are getting out in nature. Because as an empath, you're going to feel at your best when you're in nature. That's what recharges your spirit. You're not going to feel burnt out. You're going to just, you know, just be out there. Just be in the moment. Just soak it up. Um, it's nature is a great way to recharge. So. If you can try and get away maybe for a little bit, even if it's just for, you know, an hour a day or, or something like that, or an hour a week, <laughs> just make sure that you retreat, get, get into some nice nature by the water or a forest or wherever you like to go, a hike or something like that. Find a nice spot and just chill. You know what I mean, so that's, uh, those are other ways. That's another way that you can, you know, protect your energy, protect your spirit. Um, and honestly, Sometimes you have to repel yourself from people that are just energy vampires. Um, I love all my friends and I'm cool with everybody. Uh, I love all my family. You just have to make sure that, you know, people aren't just, you know, just, you know, it's just sucking energy from you. You know, you, especially if you're trying to do things every day, you're, you know, you got a lot of tasks and stuff. Sometimes you feel drained mentally because you're around a lot of energy vampires. And so what you have to do is if you can't remove yourself from them totally, just kind of limit the time, like I said, when you're with them or, or on the phone and stuff like that. Um, just you protect your energy as an empath. You have to because we are, like I said, we're very sensitive to other people and their emotions. We take their problems and emotions and put them right on our shoulders and we carry that burden. 
we don't know how to release it you know you have to release it you can't just hold on to that stuff so it, that's where you know negative emotions and bitterness and all that kind of stuff starts to come in so it's just uh you know as an empath i wanted to connect with some other empaths i know I, there's a lot out here and um, you're not alone so that's basically what this video is and if you are new to being an empath or understanding what an empath is um, just know that it is not a weakness it's a good thing you know we just have to learn how to set boundaries and uh, keep our energy safe because it's sacred you know what i mean and we don't want to just you know give it out all over the place and then you leave yourself laying out hurt and you know depleted so don't want that for y'all we want to be our best selves use your empathy as a as a you know like as a superpower as a good thing um help your friends you know help encourage people you know give it's a gift you know give it out you know give it out just know when not to use it you know it's not a bad thing to put up your boundary it's not a full wall it's a boundary to protect what you got you know what i'm saying so all right guys i hope y'all learned something i hope i provided y'all with some value um like i said if you are an empath uh, if there's anything you want to say put that in the comments below like share comment um and we got some more content coming your way if you have any other uh, video ideas let me know and i'd love to do them all right y'all take care be safe and stay elevated